that? To the top, to the top. One. I think I write music because it's a very natural thing that happens. You'll hear something in your head or you'll play two chords together and then hear a melody in your head and you kind of go from there. It's like um, having arms and legs. It's just a uh, part of you. Yeah. Here you go. My name is Ryan Martin. We are at Old Soul Studios, Catskill, New York. The experience of being here, working with Kenny is a brand new thing for me. It's the first time we've worked together. And working with different musicians and having them have an active role in creating the music just takes it in a different direction all on its own. I kind of wanted to take a step back and allow it to happen with a lot of different minds coming together. That's one thing that I've learned is how I'm just kind of a part of this, you know? All right, let's give it a try. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we want to hold on that. Yeah, let you set it up. I like that. One, yeah. two, three, oh. Someone will suggest that we write a bridge and then you write this whole bridge with a group of people right there, you know, and then you record it the next day. It's, I guess you would technically call it a band leader, though, to be honest, I mean, the amount of, like, people who are involved in this project who are themselves producers, kind of allowing them to have space to also direct things in a way makes it what felt like a really collaborative process. I feel like it's all in service of the song and the best idea wins and really it's about letting go of your ego. That's what it's about. It's not about me trying to do it alone anymore. I'm more open to letting other people kind of guide it. Everyone was just super involved. See, oboe one. Caroline Glass played a lot of woodwinds one called a crumb horn. And she played the contrabass clarinet. And one called a shawarma. Cut that out, because that, I think, is a food. A sham, that was it, a sham. She's like the queen of woodwinds. I, I like that um, descending line there somewhere. Sam came and he played vibraphone and he also played marimba which I just love the sound of marimba, like one of my all-time favorite instruments, and he's such a great player. It's on one of the songs, and it's like my favorite part of the song. That's oh, great, man. There's a pocket there. Michaela is an amazing harp player. When Kenny first suggested her, I was a little skeptical, because it's not, you know, but I went with it, and she found a way into these songs that I think it became one of the important layers. I'm going to put paper through the harp, um, so it'll be like prepared harp. And then she started singing on the songs, but there's one song in particular it's about, it doesn't really have a title yet, but I'm playing piano and we get to the chorus and she starts singing this like high harmony. And it's just this like soaring, beautiful, like piercing Emmy Lou Harris kind of sound. And it was honestly probably one of my like favorite musical experiences of my life is just listening to her sing harmony on that song. Yeah, there is a theme. There's a theme and it's, uh, it's very uh, human. It's a very introverted and kind of 
bit personal, I guess. There's a personal thing to it. Yeah. Don't you want to care for me when I'm nice. I'm so happy to be here, you know. It's definitely a special experience to have in my life. I just can't say enough about how great and, and cool everyone has been who has uh, who's worked on this record. I'm giving credit to all the musicians for making it a great record. That's cool, let's end like that.